Hello and welcome to another episode of Quick Tips. I'm your host, Dana Grant, and this is a follow-up to an unboxing that I just did on this new Epiphone uh, L00 Studio. And I mentioned in the unboxing, which I'll connect to this video, that I was going to do an upgrade on this uh, because it comes with a plastic saddle bone. It's got plastic ridge pins. And I'm setting it up for blues, not that that matters, but, but the biggest upgrade you can make to a guitar like this for $13, I bought a packet that has a bone saddle, a bone nut, and rosewood bridge pins. Those three things should make a, as much of a difference as you can in the tonality of the guitar. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to put, because I am going to set this up to play blues on, uh, and it'll probably be an open G tuning a lot. I'm going to play with a slide. I'm going to put these Diodario XS strings on here. These are 12 to 53, but these are got a special kind of coating on them um, that's super slippery and it lasts forever. It's some kind of a nano coating. So we're going to try that and see how that works with the slide so it slides better and you don't get a lot of squeaking out of it. So. The first step that we're going to do is we are going to uh, remove the strings. And I think you know how to do that, so we're going to skip to the next part. We're going to pause it, do that, and come back. Okay, we're back. You know how to take strings off a guitar. Normally, I would take a, lot, a bunch of measurements of the, the action before I took it apart. But in this case, I don't care because I want to set it up to play slide on anyway. So the first thing you want to do, you got the strings off, you want to see that your new parts are going to match up with your old parts and that they'll fit. And that's a perfect fit already with the saddle. That's the old one. I don't want to get these confused. Um, and the same way with the, the knot, you kind of put it on up here and see if it feels like the same length and it looks approximately the same width. So. I've done that. Now, step number one today is we're going to replace the nut. Now, this the specs say that these are plastic, the ones I took out. I'm not 100% sure on that. They, they bounce on the concrete, kind of like a bone, but I don't know. I'm going with the specs. So we are changing these um, anyway, and we're going to put the bone on. We're going to replace the nut first. So we are going to remove the little truss rod cover, three screws on this particular one. We're going to remove that. I've already got some of the things that I think I'm going to need. I've got my wood glue. I've got little other little uh, tools out here on my operating table so that I don't have to run all over the place, hopefully, to get stuff. So I believe I have it. So that's that. Now we have to, the toughest part of this job is removing the nut without breaking too many things and replacing the nut. That's going to be the toughest part of this whole job. So what I like to do, it just depends on how, how, uh, much glue they put on that originally. I have a piece, this is actually too nice of a piece of wood, it's solid maple, like for a neck on a small guitar. Uh, but I take a solid piece of wood, I put it up against the nut and tap it. Ooh, and I got lucky there. Uh, the nut came right back and it didn't break too many things. Okay, there's a little bit of, uh, God, this feels like bone to me. I don't know. I don't know, boy. That could have been a bone nut. They said it was plastic, but we're going with a new one anyway. So now we're going to replace it. But what we got to do is we're going to put a little bit of wood glue on there. So I need to get, I got my wood glue. 
but I want to get some wet paper towels. So we're going to put the new nut on and we're going to glue it with a little bit of wood glue and you don't overdo it with the wood glue. Okay, because you may need to take it off again to make some adjustments. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. So we're sticking to plan A, which is we're going to replace these things with the new parts I bought. However, the ones I took out, believe it or not, when you put them on sandpaper, the nut and the saddle, they leave a white chalk mark with like bone would. And the specs say that the uh, bridge pins are rosewood, but they are definitely plastic. So I'm not too sure about those two specs, but we are going to stick with plan A. And plan A is, we're going to put my new stuff on here. So we take a little, this is wood glue. And we, we're sparingly using wood glue. We're not trying to overdo wood glue. A couple of dots. Because we want to maybe take it off someday if we have to make adjustments. So we're going to put it on there. And we're going to try to line it up and press it in the best we can. And we have a wet paper towel here that allows us to get off the excess glue. So that's that. Also, while I have it apart, uh, we're going to shut off while the glue dries. But I'm also going to, uh, I think Sweetwater might have to update that because it definitely says plastic nut and saddle and rosewood bridge pins and that's kind of not right. So, but we are gonna go with plan A. So as I'm re here now and I have the strings off, I think because the actual bridge, which should be rosewood, does look just a teeny weeny bit dry. So I'm gonna put a little fret oil on, or this is kind of like an all purpose guitar oil, F1 oil. I'm going to spread that around on here with a paper towel, which a paper towel has a little bit of abrasion. So while we're waiting, also, you know, this looks fine on this uh, fretboard, but I am in the desert. I'm in Arizona, so it doesn't hurt to have a little fret oil on your frets. Put this in, and we're going to wait just a little bit while glue dries. I'm always waiting for glue to dry. And then we'll be right back and go to step whatever step we need. Now. Okay, so we're back. We're waiting on things to dry here. So we're going to talk and work at the same time. I'm going to multitask. And I'm going to work backwards, basically, while that's drying. I did oil up the fretboard and the, uh, the bridge. By the way, the frets on this are perfect. There's no sharp frets. The workmanship on this is really good. And I think that um, one of the confusions about the specs in the guitar is that if you look up the specs on a lot of this, you know, these guitars at different places, it'll say made in China. This one, as I mentioned, is made in Indonesia. So I, I think maybe they got a couple of different parts in Indonesia than they do in Beijing, you know, or wherever they make them. Um, so that's maybe where the confusion is. But we're going to end up with all bone stuff and real rosewood bridge pins. And we're going to work our way back, except we're going to put the uh, truss rod cover back on because that will help add some pressure to that nut to, while it's drying. So my little Taylor cup of coffee here. Okay, so we're going to work and talk at the same time. So uh, you, you guys know how to do these kind of things, but I'm just going to screw back on the, um, the truss rod cover. I, I'm hoping I don't have to make any adjustments on the truss rod because, you know, obviously the, in this case, the screws are right underneath the string. So you got to back off the strings and go through that. But I matched up the, the nut and the saddle, the old ones and new ones, and all the heights seem to be exactly the same. So I don't think it's going to make a big difference 
But like I said, I didn't take measurements before I took it apart because I didn't care. Because I want to set it up the way I want it when it's finished. Okay. The other bone, uh, the other nut that came off of here had that aged yellow look to it too, which was kind of cool. This one's a little more white, but there's a lot of white on these, these guitars, so. Or like, that seems white, it's kind of silvery. Again, that too, silvery white. So I, that's okay. We're not gonna be that fussy. But we're gonna work backwards today. So we got making sure that everything fits. So I, I already stuck the, the, the bridge pins in here and they all fit, but we're gonna put strings on them and move it this way while that's still drying. Then we're gonna put the saddle in the correct way with the adjustments, the little modifications on the, on the saddle under the E and B string where they're supposed to be. So this has a piazza in it, so there's, you know, a little bit of pull on that or push on that. Okay, so now we're going to put these uh, Diodario uh, S, I mean XS sp strings on here that, as I said, they have a nano kind of coating on them, not a bronze coating. And I've used them on other guitars and they are definitely quieter as far as like in a studio what you know the squeaking noise that you get when you're moving around on new strings on a guitar uh those don't do that here we go voila okay normally i would uh you know do i would probably do one string at a time is kind of what i usually do but in this case we're trying to let that not dry a little bit, so we're gonna go this way, okay? So, uh, we got a brass E string here. So we're gonna put that in first. And we, I, I like to put a little bend in the, at the end of the string a little bit of a bend so that it goes around and the pin holds it down good. So we're gonna line that up like that. I'm gonna put that pin in there and push it down. And for this scenario, we're moving things out of our way. Oh, well, there we are. So we this has been drying for a while. We, uh, lubricated everything one other thing let's stop right here i'm going to stop it for a second i'm going to get some lead pencil and i'm going to put it in the uh, on the bone in the grooves to give it a little uh, uh lubrication so hold on just a second okay so i've got a lead pencil any kind of lead pencil number two pencil will do but i got this big carpenter one and you run it through the grooves of the nut and it's got graphite in it, it helps lubricate it. I'll put one string on here and then we'll pause it again. You don't need to see this, but this is the way I do it. I take from the pole I'm gonna use, I go out. You can go out like one and a half uh, tuners, but or if you get at the end, what I do is almost like from my knuckle to my finger, it's about that distance. Then I bend it like that. So then I can wind one up here, get it to go through the hole like this. You have it come through the hole like that. Then you bend it up out of your way and then you start cranking it up. That gives you pretty much the right distance on each tuner. So we're gonna, we'll wind one up here and then we'll pause it and I'll put some the other ones on because it's just a repeating the same thing.
Okay, we don't want to overdo it yet. So we're going to repeat that like five more times. We are going to cut the string right away so it's just not in our way. And we're going to repeat that. So again, I'll pause, come back, have it restrung. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, you might, there's a big storm going on outside, so you might hear some background noise. Um, it's been a while since I've hit pause until now, okay? It's because when I got it all together, the action was, it was great for slide, but it was way too high for finger picking. So I had to make a bunch of adjustments, which I did, where you know you lower the saddle and you lower the nut and you get everything right. It's still got pretty high action so that you can play a slide but yet you can still play with your fingers. So first thing I want to point out is that I think I accomplished the main thing I wanted to accomplish. Let's uh, make sure, let's do this. Let's shut off any, any amplification. The sustain on this thing now is awesome. You can feel it in the headstock. This thing will ring for hours. And if you give it some volume, it'll ring for days. So the sustain is phenomenal, okay? So that was the first thing I wanted to do. The next thing, I wanted to fix it so you could use it with, you know, with the finger picking a little bit. that kind of thing so you can play it still with your fingers Okay, so then the next thing is, you know, slide. If it had, a, if it was high enough action, so that you're not going to have a ton of rattling going on. So, So I think that'll work, okay? Um, I'm gonna use this in a blue show, as I mentioned. So I'm really happy with what, how it came out, but I must say, okay, that I went with the specs that they had, and the specs told me that it had a bone nut and saddle. I mean, it's a plastic nut and saddle is what the specs said, and it had rosewood, uh, pins, okay? That wasn't the case. It actually, I believe that it, I started with bone, nut, and saddle, and plastic pins. But now, I'm sure I've got bone, nuts, bone, saddle, and my rosewood pins. So that's about all you can do to a guitar, you know, that's got everything else going for it, okay? And had plastic. You know, if you replace all the plastic, it'll sound much better. So I'm gonna cut this one short. I'm happy with it. It just took a little more adjusting. I got the, uh, the harmonics and the intonation and everything is good. I'm happy. 
So we're going to see you in the next video. Take care out there.